So many people for so long have said that the grip is the most important thing. And I actually believe that that's the case too. It predicts what happens in a golf swing. And so when you get to hold in the club, a very simple tip, many of you grip the club when, you're, when you've got the club head laying on the ground and you go that way. What that does is it gives you what we call a short thumb. When the tip of the, the, the top of the thumb and the uh, knuckle of the index finger are on the same line, when you go across the grip perpendicular, it's on the same line. What you want to do is you want to try to get that thumb a little bit down that shaft and create a separation there. That's going to give you a little bit more leverage and a little bit more angle, more power when you're hitting the shot. So a very simple way to do this is to hold the club up in the air this way so it's perpendicular to the ground. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your hand, wrap the fingers, then get the pad to go first. Don't go fingers, thumb, pad, because you're going to end up short thumb. Go fingers, pad, thumb. And when you do that, now you're going to get a little bit of leverage in there. That's going to give you a little bit more power. And when we get a little bit more power, we're going to get a little bit more distance. We get a little bit more distance. You're going to smile a little bit more. So what we do is we hold that up here like this. Go fingers, pad, thumb. Now that thumb is down the shaft like that. Now... Step up there, we're gonna get a little bit more leverage. You're gonna feel your wrists hinge a little bit differently. Good solid swing there. Watch how far this thing is gonna go. This ball's gonna go, typically like I said, I'm about 180 to 85 with my six iron. That one there's in the 193 range. 